Good morning, dear students. Welcome back to our moral science class. Today, we are going to study about the beauty of communal harmony. Communal means for a common use or between different communities. Let us see what is unity in diversity. Unity in diversity is a concept which signifies unity among individuals who have certain differences among them. These differences can be on the basis of culture, language, ideology, religion, class, etc. The concept has certainly resulted in the ethical and moral evaluation of humanity. So, dear students, let us see what makes Indian society more beautiful. Please take page number 27, unit 7. First part, there are some of the questions it is given here that you can do as a homework. You will see the page number 28. Unity in diversity is considered the most attractive quality of Indian society. So one of the important quality of only our society, that means our Indian society. You know that a garden full of different types of flowers create a beautiful sight. Just to imagine, we'll come, go back to our school and we will see that, we will imagine that. In our garden, we have varieties of flowers. If you imagine that if it is in our garden, only one color, one type of flower, is there any beauty? No. So, we will see that what is unity in diversity. You know that a garden full of different types of flowers create a beautiful sight. This is very much true regarding our society too. We will compare with our society and our garden. Ours is a land of many races, many religions and many castes. In the politics or the civics, we used to study about different types of religion, customs and traditions. So here also, the same meaning is that unity in diversity means uh, there will be different religion, different language, different tradition, etc. Their beliefs, customs and ways of living are different. Yeah, Each religion, they have their own ideas, their own holy books, their own traditions. Everything will be different. In reality, this is the real beauty. Imagine... A world where all the people are alike. Imagine that in the garden only one type of flower or only one color, color of flower what will be there. There will not be any beauty. Same way imagine the whole world only one shape, one color, one language. Is there any beauty? No, there will not be any beauty. How boring it could have been. But there is another side of this beauty. The chance of clash between different groups are very high in such societies. Yeah, if there is realities, that means if there is different types of religion, color, rules, everything, if it is different, then there will be clashes also. Just to imagine about your classroom. Different characters are sitting together. So there will be Clashes will be there, different opinions will be there. So, that also one side it is beauty, but other side, sometime it will create so much problems. If we are not careful, we will end up in dangerous conflicts. We should take all the precautions to avoid such clashes. Wherever you are in the society or in the class, you have to remember that you have to avoid all the types of problems we have different religions in this country 
So, do you think one religion is against another? No, never. We have different religion, different traditions, different beliefs, but we cannot tell that one religion is against another. Yes, a very religion is saying one thing, they are teaching some holy things or how to move, which will be the right path. These are some of the instructions for our life they are giving. It is not so. Religions are different ways leading to God. Uh, their goal is to lead to God, uh, to reach, reach near the God or with God. It doesn't matter which way we take. The important thing is that we reach the destination. Destination means the God. Wherever we want to reach, then only one. We have to focus only one thing that we have to reach the destination. All the religions should be treated alike. There should not be any cause of discontentment. Discontentment means that there will not be any unhappy or displeasure. Everybody is thinking about the peace of the world, peace of the society. Everybody is teaching that to, to love each other. All people, though belonging to different religions, should live in peace and friendship. Yeah, there will be, each society there will be different religious people will be there. But just you remember that we are living in, we, everybody is, everybody is not same religion. But we belong to different religions, but we are living together, working together, studying together, everything will be together. That is our unity. They should help each other and work for the progress of the country as a whole. People should respect the beliefs and practices of others. Uh, we should respect each religion and each God. We know that our country is divided into different states. Yeah, we know that our country is divided into different states. Why? Because the purpose of such a division is to make administration easy and effective. Underline that. Why our country is divided into different states? The purpose is that to make administration easy and effective. Just yes, imagine that in our school, we have different houses. Why? The purpose is that, say, easy administration. They should not cause any division between the people of these states. Yeah. In each state, there will be different religion will be there, tradition will be there, caste will be there, but they are living together. And whenever there will be division, when will, whenever there will be, they are ready to divide the state, there will not be any uh, rules will not be there according to the caste or according to the religion. Whatever may be our race, religion, state and mother tongue, we all are Indians. Yeah, underline that. Whatever may be our race, our religion, our color, our language, our tradition. But one thing you have to remember always, we all are Indians. This spirit of unity will help us to advise in life. If there is no unity, the country cannot progress. Wherever there will be unity, there will be progress. We should be ready to follow a give and take. Say so one of the policies is that uh, to follow this policy, give and take. We should learn to forgive and forget the mistakes of others. Yeah. Whenever there will be problems, clashes in our life or the society, we must ready to follow these values that is forgive and forget.
the community should work in cooperation to make the nation progressive and strong unity is strength always remember this truth united we stand divided we fall and learn that in the school and the society wherever you are you have to remember united we stand divided we fall thank you god bless you